job, it ain't easy. In the good mental state of God is the reason. This is plain Jane season. Fresh up off the plane in Japan, I ain't leaving. They say seeing is believing. Well, here's a briefcase with a million dollars even. This all week, no days off. This hard work gon' pay y'all. I made myself a promise young. I would never work a day job, put it in the safe. Never know when I'm gon' need that. Came here with my gang, you don't know where your homies at. Gave you a lot of game, you don't owe me back. You say you a boss, gotta show me that. Never leave the house without the pack. Where my d at? Take an L and try to double back. We ain't doing that. Say she mad, but I know it's cap. I've been through it that. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. I got game sports center. Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Today we've got a fun little clash in the AFC as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Miami Dolphins. It's a rematch of one of the great NFL playoff games of all time. The Chargers and Dolphins underway from Miami. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. second down well offensively that's a mismatch that you want you want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield out in some open space but linebackers nowadays they run like backs and they take a lot of pride in covering what a nice play he made there in the open field Tua wants to throw it on second down completes it to the tight end Smythe 
so they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Here's Tonga by Loa on first and ten. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Tua sets up to pass it. Back to the sideline, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to take over at their own 41. At their own 41 yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Flush to his right. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. It's early, but it now it's a cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games, too? Oh, what the heck. In this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. 
Well, it's not the touchdown that they wanted, CD, but still, they got to be pretty happy here. You steal the ball away from them on their opening possession, and you turn that into the early 3 0 lead. Yeah, you painted the picture perfectly there. All the things that have gone on, and the important thing, other than the lead, of course, is as you described, both sides of the ball now have some momentum. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up a bit a little but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive and get some points of their own. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. That's a Mostert hit, and he drops the ball. And picked up by the Chargers. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Herbert following the turnover. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The lines move there. Look like nobody open. Now second down. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in. And he's just got to throw this one away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Herbert. Flushed out right. And seeing where we're going to throw, he chucks this one away from Hall. Incomplete. Now it's third down. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back to back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Austin Eckler, 34 yards. And the Chargers are able to add on to that lead. Yeah, they would have been happy with the first down, but this is even better. Once he's past the marker, it's cream cheese from there. And he bumps it to the outside, and it's just going to run away from defenders on his way toward the pylon. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the Chargers are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 46 yards on the ground for him so far. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and three. Hey, Kappa, 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 Kappa. Hey, go Lion, 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 Lion. Ten. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And once he escaped the pocket there, he tried to keep those eyes downfield, but nothing was materializing. So he makes a smart move and gets that to the sideline. Thank you. 
The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Now it's Herbert. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory, down at the 31. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But he finds his receiver, Williams, for a charger touchdown. Mike Williams, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes our score 17-0. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and seven. Over the middle complete, it's Hill. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Two are going to throw. That swung out to Mostert. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, Mostert. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. And this is going to be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Back to the running game with Mostert. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Looking to pass, Tua, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Derwin James with a pick, and the Chargers are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. They'll take over first and ten at their own one-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. But the good news for them, they got the football. The bad news, they have to go 99 yards here as they start this drive out on their own one-yard line. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. They're going to hurry back to the line now. A gain of 19 yards. On 
first down, Justin Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Running on first down, Eckler. 61 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Herbert. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, if I haven't said it before, I'm certainly saying it now. No one throws a prettier deep ball than Justin Herbert. This thing's out of rope, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Back to throw. Going deep here for Allen. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Play action this time for Justin Herbert on the move to his left. And this is incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. And they'll send the tight end in motion. On second down, Eckler. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. Sets up a first down and goal at the one-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Mostert. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. And they're going to speed things up here. Again, it's Mostert. And this time, he'll score. Touchdown, Miami. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. That is good, and that'll make it 20-7.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Herbert now. Forced out to his left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And he'll return it to the 24 yard line. After the turnover, it's Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And the stop will come inside the 5 at the 4. And the offense moving quickly to the line. From the gun, it's Tua. From four yards out. And the Dolphins take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead will shrink to six. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Charger drive about to get going. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Brandon Jones picking it off. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Sanders now to have the extra point. And that one puts them on top here in the third. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Charger drive about to get going. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. 
How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here, and sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Herbert on first down now. On the screen, this is Eckler. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and a couple. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Herbert running left off the option. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper. 17 yards. First down. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense have other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming out. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? So they'll try to move the ball closer here on third down. A field goal from this spot would be just inside of 60 yards, 59 to be exact. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know... This is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 17-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. Eckler now between the tackles. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, 
track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Here comes second down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass down the field. Now, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Big play looming here. This is third and seven with a crowd on their feet. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Throw left side is held in by Palmer. Touchdown, Chargers! Josh Palmer, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Chargers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. So now a big play coming up as the Chargers are going to go for two. Baylor Tiger! Baylor Tiger! Spill it! Herbert. And it is incomplete, so they can't convert for two. And now the lead stays at five. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. This is first and 10. Zion. Here's Tua. That's over the middle, caught by Chosen. And able to use a stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good game. Now Tua. He's going to let it fly. And this is going to be dropped. There was no one in his area code, but he could not hang on to it. Oh, man, late in a tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. A big play looming on third down. Throwing to a... They've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what hasn't. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Finding room at midfield. And he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. Here's first and ten. Tua on first down. They go with Mostert again. Space to maneuver inside the 25. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. It's 
Here's first down. Tug of Iloa. Got a man and he hits him in stride. He takes it across for the touchdown and they take it away. Trying to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. Tongue of Iloa looking to throw it. And now incomplete. They can't convert. So they tried to bump the lead up to a field goal. Instead, it stays at one here in the fourth. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. No return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and taken. They'll come up first and ten here. Herbert to throw. Escaping the pressure, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you're probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. Now Herbert. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Back to back big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful. Because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that can be used against them. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Go. Herbert going to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I'll give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And that's the downside of taking these big shots because they're definitely lower percentage plays. And now you look up, and it's fourth down. So not only do you have to worry about getting big yardage, you also need to just keep the game alive. Here we go. This is fourth down. Fourth down for Herbert. Desperation time. He's going to take another shot here. And it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half.